XRP currently is getting ready to launch. Why is that? This is going to become the next reason why crypto makes its next leg, next move, next capital inflow up to the upside. Now, of course, the last video I did for you was about five days ago. I did say to you that it is beginning. We are finding a bottom. However, in today's unfortunate happenings and events, we unfortunately created a lower high scenario there and a lower low scenario there. However, currently you can see that our MACD and our RSI are somewhat bottoming out at this moment. Yes, we could hold a day or two or three below the 200 meaning average. We did and we have for some time now. However, it is a little out of my trading zone that I've been talking about for some time. It is under the 200, but we have not stayed under the 200 for very long. Every single time it does punch right back up. So I would expect the same to happen, especially considering that the same moves in the stochastic RSI and in the MACD have been the same coinciding at each one of these little bottom moves here. So I would expect this to make its next leg up. And if we are to make some sort of next leg up, I would expect us to do something like that, a 25% move to the upside. Let's just say it drops down a little bit, 25% to the upside takes us up to this actual all-time high up here. Now, isn't it quite interesting? Which would be caused potentially by what it is that I'm about to show you regarding XRP. So make sure to make some noise. And I am so abundantly grateful for you being here on the Crypto Bliss channel with me tonight. Once again, I truly appreciate you every single day in every single way. And let's get right into the hottest hot news. So let's get some perspective here. The market is clearly preparing for the XRP ETFs. And I love how this dude actually has set this out quite nicely here. So I'm just going to share this with you because it's something I came across today as well. So September 12, Grayscale opens an XRP trust, which is likely to head into an XRP ETF. October 2nd, which was like eight days ago, happy 1010. 24, by the way, that's amazing. Bitwise, October 2nd, Bitwise files for XRP ETF. The October 8th, which was two days ago, Canary Capital files for XRP ETF. Bitwise, we're talking about here on October 2nd. Grayscale opens an XRP trust, which is likely to do an XRP trust. Upcoming ripple swell 15 to 16 October. Official media partner is Eric Balchunas from Bloomberg at ETF Analyst. This is amazing. And he is such a great person um, and knows an extensive amount about the ETF data. So it's going to be an incredible punt and marketing stint to have Eric Balchunas basically announcing that the XRP and giving the same amount of information as he has with the Bitcoin um, ETF. And we'll see from there. So Crypto's ETFs is on the agenda at Ripple Swell featuring Hunter Horsley, CEO of Bitwise. We can also look back a few months when BlackRock's Larry Fink was asked about a potential XRP ETF on Fox News and he simply said that he can't talk about it. Brad Garlinghouse, who was also asked about the XRP ETF at another occasion, and he declined to comment as well. Well, today we have a little bit of different data according to this fact, but we'll show you that in a little moment. So make sure to stay tuned. I've just got a little bit of actual alpha here that you may want to see on this next post that I'm going to show you. Whew. So be ready. Be ready, my friend. If you are, make some noise. Let me know where you are right now. And if you own a bag of XRP or part of the XRP army, I got a massive, chunky, juicy, delicious bag of XRP. So a lot of, and if you guys want to get some of that, actually use my XRP link down below on Bybit. Get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus. And yeah, just like I said here, so cool. We've had a little bit of manipulation back here. It is what it is. Look at this beautiful. This low here is somewhat just higher than that right now on XRP. And so I would suggest that with a candle that's looking like this, 
and a MACD and RSI that's looking like that, that we are getting ready to probably turn right here because this was a fall. We stabilize and then we start to turn and climb back up slowly. This is going to give us the momentum. And if you're expecting the XRP ETF, why on earth would you not be investing in XRP at this point? Because it's going to blow the lid. Now, with it going to blow the lid, get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus. Use some of that to trade in XRP and let's make some crazy, crazy gains together. All right. Now, let us have a look at this juicy here. Because basically, Ripple launches crypto custody services for banks, expanding beyond its core payments business. Um, crypto custody services for banks, especially after banks have denied you access to crypto. Now, the Ripple ledger will actually allow banks to custody your crypto. So now the banks are going to come to you and ask you for your crazy crypto. But my friend, if you own a lovely, beautiful ledger, all right, and any other cold storage wallet, I have multiple of these, I would suggest using my ledger link down below. It's one of my favorite, I must say, it's very simple to use. And a great place to store your crypto cold storage. And you can trade, you can swap, you can do a number of things on it using a Ledger Live app as well as on your phone. So take a hold of the beautiful bonuses that you get down in the description of my videos down below. I love this. So good luck to Ripple. We are literally on the verge. This is from today, just by the way. And this is Cointelegraph, somewhat reputable in some ways, not always reputable. But I'd like to show you one a last little snippet from Brad Garlinghouse, which is an update of this point that I was talking about here. Let's go and have a listen here. Uh, but XRP in particular, the SEC has tried to throw you down in court. Yeah. Don't you think that Gensler and company might just say, no, nah, that one, no way. I think it's a hard argument with them to win. I mean, can they make life difficult? They've made life difficult for a lot of people, then they've lost in court. What I was talking about at the consensus conference last week in Austin was that people don't want just exposure to one commodity. So if you have exposure to gold, you might want exposure to silver. If you have exposure to other commodities, and so to me, it only makes sense. You don't want to have just a single threaded uh, asset exposure. So I think people also forget that it wasn't that long ago before the SEC got involved that XRP was the second most valuable digital asset. And that was before the SEC kind of anointed ETH. Then they couldn't answer the question, is ETH a security or not? And now they've approved the ETF. They, they contradict each other. It's very difficult, contradict themselves. It's very difficult to follow. Let's not assume that all our investor audience understand what XRP is. XRP sure. is the token or the coin that Ripple, which is a money transaction site, right, that is charged, right? Yeah. You, you get paid in XRP, but it's it's become something that people can also buy whether they use the Ripple blockchain, right? Correct. So XRP is a digital asset, not that dissimilar than Bitcoin or ETH. There's different characteristics of each asset. Bitcoin has really become digital gold and has thrived because of that. ETH, there's a lot of excitement around the smart contracts capabilities. XRP is extremely fast on a per transaction basis and extremely inexpensive. People talk about gas fees and transaction costs of some other tokens. Ripple uses XRP as part of our technical stack to do cross-border payment flows. And, and you charge... You charge whoever is moving the money point zero 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 one of XRP, which stands around 51 cents or something right now. But here, here's my question. Right now, the main competitor in that space is SWIFT. That, of course, is the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Transactions. That's the global one that a lot of people use. They charge much more, do they not? Yeah, they really are the dominant. I mean, Swift has been around for, you know, 50, 60 years. And the frustrating part for all of us as users of Swift is that it really hasn't changed in 50 or 60 years. The architecture of how it works, it means it's slow, mm -hmm. it's expensive, and frankly, it's quite error prone. Uh, some studies have shown that about 6% of all Swift uh, attempts to wire a Swift uh, transaction end up in errors that bounce back and okay. that it takes days to get it back. What about you guys? 
Well, an XRP transaction and a payment flow for us is really real time. It's instant, it's cross border. And the really powerful thing for a lot of our customers is they don't have to pre-fund accounts because our customers are financial institutions. And the way that SWIFT works, you're pre-funding, you have dormant capital sitting in other banks around the world using XRP, using RippleNet, our payments network, you don't have to pre-fund. When we look at uh, this this suddenly coming alive cryptocurrency, at least in the past week or so, so now we've got Bitcoin back above 70,000. Some people are making the connection between that and the Roaring Kitty re-entry into the world, reactivating his account on Reddit and saying he owns $115 million worth of, of GameStop shares. Do you, do you see any connection between his sudden emergence and all of the cryptos moving higher, like a meme stock feel back in 2021 where people were also diving into crypto. Yeah, I think this momentum is really driven from what's happening on a political basis. And it, the United States remains the largest economy in the world, and it has been kind of backwards as its approach to cryptocurrencies. You know, countries like the UK are way ahead, Japan, Singapore, Switzerland. I mean, we are really behind the rest of the and world. And Ripple has offices in many of those cities. We do. We have uh, 14 offices around the world. And so for me, I think what's really driving the momentum right now is seeing that you even said this earlier, that the voice of crypto, the voice of Ripple and is really gone up in the conversation in the United States. I think you're seeing shifts. Well, some of that is money. You yourself over the past two years have given a total of 50 million to Fair Shake, the lobby firm that cryptocurrency people are, are really kind of filling the coffers there. And suddenly you have Donald Trump saying, I'm the crypto president. You have Joe Biden making some noise about, you know, come on, lay off the regulations a little bit. You guys suddenly have a voice. You're you're the kitten that roared in a way. Yeah. So I think it's less about the roaring, roaring kitten and more about hey, you, you finally you're seeing some of the political the political machinery in the United States move and act. And look, we haven't yet seen the Biden administration. They, they've said some things, but they haven't followed this up with actions. You have seen Trump make this part of his campaign. I think it's incredibly smart, and incredibly strategic. This is a topic that has a lot of passionate people. Mm -hmm. And this is yeah. an excitement and enthusiasm. They're pro-innovation, pro these technologies, and know that they can be used in ways to protect consumers all at the same time. I th this man believes that it is absolutely and just simply inevitable. Very simple there. So the last thing I want to show you, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'm going to leave you with this. So if... There is a Ripple Custody is seeing continued momentum with a 250% year over year new customer growth. Its solution is offered across the largest global financial markets, including Switzerland, Germany, France, UK, the United States, Singapore, and Hong Kong. Today, Ripple Custody serves millions of people. Okay, and you heard it. It's going to be the transition for Swift. 250% customer growth every year means this coin more people are going to be using this coin to transact and send money across the world, my friend. 250% growth over the next 10 years compounded is ridiculous. Okay. You do not want to miss out on the opportunity because literally Ripple could shoot right through the moon, pump beyond all of these highs here, way above $3. Okay, my friend. I'm just letting you know. So hope you take the dive, take the plunge into crypto XRP. Much love. And we'll see you later, you beautiful souls. Take care and have a lovely evening.